Have you had any sex ed classes while you were in school? No, no, not yet. I have never gotten sex ed in high school and I'm soon to graduate. No, I have not received any sex ed classes that I know of. No, I've never had, ever had sex education. The first time I ever took sex ed was in eighth grade. That was in middle school. Now I am in 12th grade and I still haven't, I haven't retaken it. about sex education was the internet. I was with my cousins and we were just like watching videos. I learned about sex education from my parents. Um, <laughs> uh, my older brothers. My sister taught me about that kind of stuff. Oftentimes, the school system and other um, Organizations spend money on a lot of issues and concerns which are not at the forefront of the minds of our children. I think um, too often times we, we want to run away from topics that are obviously present. The message is getting to the students a little too late. Maybe they need to hear it ninth grade instead of 12th grade when they've already you know, matured and moved on. So I think maybe definitely um, what's missing is getting the message to the students early. Kids want to know about many of these topics and oftentimes they're not receiving it. So yes, people who are learnt, people who are capable of teaching um, students and young people about sex and not just teach them about sex, but just teach them about how do you channel the energy in your body because it cannot be... There are kids who start thinking about sex at different ages. When I was coming up, again, my mom, single parent, it was hard to talk to my parents or talk to my mother about certain things that was happening with my body. Your hormones, like why is like why my body acting like this? Why do I feel like this? Why, you know what I mean? Like, like you always need um, questions answered when it comes down to being a kid and why your body is changing. A kid may start thinking about sex at nine years old. Then you have another person who doesn't start really focusing on sex until like maybe they're 17, 18 years old. You know, so what do you do with the child who at nine years old, they start struggling physically and they just, not because it's a bad child, as some people would say, but just because this is what's happening to them at that time. Their, their body is really seeking an understanding of this physical urge they have, you know. So I think, pe you know, a lot of kids, if they had someone who helped them to understand that many of these things are natural, A lot of them having sex, and most of them have, um, you know, end up, ended up being pregnant, or they have, you know, uh, impregnated their girlfriends and stuff like that. And um, that has really made their life a bit harder since um, they're being pressured to keep on improving, like not to drop out of school, to try to give um, their babies, uh, you know, like a better future. But then there are also um, other friends that I've had that um, didn't have, they didn't get the proper education, or I guess they didn't, they don't really care, so they've ended up like aborting their kids and stuff like that. So from my personal experience, I had a pregnancy scare, and we did use protection, but I had to make sure, and I found something that wasn't like, right inside of me so then I like the next day I was crying whatever and I had to steal like fifty dollars from my mom's bag purse I mean to get a morning after pill because it's expensive to me because I didn't work and I don't get allowance or whatever so it was like harsh because the guy wouldn't even pay for it either so I had to do that and then that gave me an idea that these guys really don't honestly care. They just like want to get it done over with. I think that we should definitely give out condoms, um, not to 
you know, not to um, encourage sexual activity, but just if it's happening, students can go downstairs or my office and take one if they know that they feel like they're going to be sexually active. So I think that definitely condoms maybe um, should possibly be sold at the school or given out, but not birth control. As, you know, that's something that I've wrestled with at times in terms of the idea of giving students condoms and giving them uh, birth control. Um, however, I think that it's fair to say that a good percentage of young people are engaging in sexual activity. Kids need to have someone that they can talk to and not feel embarrassed or ashamed, you know? If I got pregnant at a young age, I would be like extremely scared now. I'll try to get a abortion. I don't want to have the baby. Well, I have a girlfriend, but if she got pregnant, then I wouldn't want to be with her because I don't want to deal with a child. But me, myself, that probably would have happened if I was um, having sex early because I had no knowledge of anything. I'm not even finished yet with high school. I have one more year to go. And I live in a very strict household with Spanish parents. So if I, like, they I've, they told me before, if I've ever got pregnant, they will kick me out the house. So it's just me alone in the streets with a big belly. I probably would have gotten somebody pregnant. Um, but if I, if I did, how would I have dealt with it? Uh, honorably. That's just who I am. I mean, if you want to keep the baby, just make sure you can take care of it and try to get as much school done. You don't want to be a dropout and, and having that baby. I got pregnant when I was 23, and I was so not prepared for it because it, it really changes your life. A lot, I think a lot of teenagers that say, oh, I'm going to have a child, it's just a baby, but you don't know how a child really affects your life. You're responsible for someone for the rest of their life. In order to be a great parent, you need patience, and I'm an adult. I'm in my 30s, and it's still hard to have patience with my own kids. So it's better to learn about it first and then do it and then make sure you're protected or whatever. If you're going to do it with somebody, make sure that person's really special to you and make sure you're using protection. Discuss it over with your parents and his or her parents, the other, the other parents' parents, because it really takes a, a group effort to raise a child. There are, other, there are options, not just abortion, not just having the baby. Um, there are opportunities where um, you can put up a child for adoption or, or what have you. I have my kids. I have four kids. Two boys, two girls. I tell them all the time, whatever choice you make in this life, you're the one who's going to live with it. You're the one who, when you go to sleep at night, it's you who has to take that thought with you of the, of the, the particular action or repercussions that come to you. I'm not saying that you have to do this in order to be a greater person or do this, it makes, look, it makes you look like a bad person because people would judge you in any way, in any possible way they can. Just stay positive in anything that you go through because what you're going through, many people have been in that situation before and that you're not the only one, you can seek help, but just remember, you're gonna have you and you're gonna make yourself happy. So think about yourself before you think about any other person in your life.